What did you think of The Last Dance? I assume being a Bulls fan and a Jordan fan that you watched that documentary when we were all stuck in deep quarantine yeah. back this spring. It was some of the greatest television I've ever seen in my life. I agree. <laughs> I mean, it was one of those things that it reminded me of my childhood. It just it also it also reminded me of this this debate that we always talk about, the Jordan versus LeBron debate. Yep. Um, and for me, you know, it didn't it didn't solidify now, I'm not sure if I'm being controversial when I say this. I think LeBron's the greatest player of all time. I, I really do. But when you watch this documentary, you just – you start to take a few steps back and go, wait, yeah. hold on. Hold That's on. Right. I for, oh, hold on. I forgot about that. Right. I forgot about that too. And it's really, it's really difficult. I still think LeBron's the greatest player of all time, and I know I'm on an island on, on certain – uh, signs of that coin, but I, I you know, the, that documentary one reminded me of of how TV should be. It was so dramatic. I mean, damn. Like, it, it, even though it already happened, even though I lived through it all, I right. could not wait for the next episode. Well, I don't. You know, even though I knew. I d- yeah, I don't know if you're uh, alone. I mean, you're on an island. I just don't know if you're alone on that island. Um, right. Again, uh, how old are you? You said you're right around LeBron's age. So, like, yeah, I'm 37. 37. All right. I mean, like, mm-hmm. uh, it's just um, so you were you you remember when Jordan played? And again, I I, yeah. I I think that the reason why that documentary is so crucial is I think it should remind everybody that this was an era, you know, obviously he had his Pippen and everybody has their, you know, if you will, second in command in this era of basketball as well as we're talking about LeBron and AD and we're talking about Kawhi and Paul George. But it just was a different era where you don't leave to join anybody. You just stick where you are and you beat the crap out of everybody and then you retire and you come back and you invite everybody to get you back into shape while you're shooting Space Jam and then yeah. you jam it where the sun does not shine. <laughs> and I don't see anybody in the current NBA having that sort of mentality. Yeah. I think nowadays a lot of the players have the ability to move and go wherever they want to go. And everybody, you know, back in the day, a team, an organization would put together these rosters. Right. And if a star emerges, then the world jumps on, you know, marketing, media, all these things. And we, and we, we, we crown one person on that team, the star. Right, which is fair because Michael Jordan was very clearly the star, of not just his team but the league of sports in general during that time. But with nowadays, everyone has all these endorsements, these brand deals with social media that everybody wants to be the star of their own team. And a lot of times, you have, you know, Westbrook and Harden. Like, who's the star of that team? You know, both players are both MVPs, both scoring champs, both assist leaders. You know, both have crazy amount of fans and money, you know, you can't call one of them Robin. You know, you can't you dare to call one of them Pippin. But in, the, in this day and age, you know, that's just how it is. So even even though The Last Dance reminded us of an error like that, I just feel – I just feel like now everybody, the reason why it's different is because everybody has the ability to be that person now. And championships, I feel like, could be on the back of people's minds. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.